Hey, what's up? Jigster here. Do you want to know how to get Docker Desktop? Setting up this tool is quite simple, so you can start building, deploying, and running your applications right away. In this video, I will walk you through the step-by-step -step installation process so you can start using Docker on your Windows 11 computer. Let's go! To ensure a smooth installation of Docker Desktop on your Windows 11 computer, your device must meet a few but important system requirements. First, you need WSL, or Windows Subsystem for Linux version 1.1.3.0, or later. To check your WSL version, open the command prompt and type WSL. If the version is older, you can install the latest by running WSL-install. Second, make sure you're running Windows 11 64-bit version 22H2 or later. To quickly verify your Windows version, press Windows plus R, type Winver, and press Enter. Third, you need to enable the WSL2 feature in the Windows features. Search for Turn Windows Features On or Off. Check Windows Subsystem for Linux. And click OK to save your changes. You will be prompted to restart your computer, but you can skip this and do it later instead. Finally, confirm that hardware virtualization is activated on your computer. Open Task Manager. Go to the Performance tab and check if virtualization is enabled. If not, you'll need to enable it in your BIOS settings. Once you have confirmed that your system meets the necessary requirements, you're ready to proceed with the Docker desktop installation. Download the installer from the official Docker website using the link provided below. Run the downloaded executable file. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the installation and restart your computer for the system changes to take effect. After your computer restarts, launch Docker Desktop and accept the terms and conditions. You can choose to log in with your Docker account or continue to use the software without one. That's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions about the video or want me to create a tutorial about another topic, leave a comment below. See you next time. Bye.